Hello and welcome Exiles to the Path of Exile Weather Channel. And it's the Weather Channel because I'm going to give you a Path of Exile forecast. And it's not a forecast in the sense of it's going to be wrong. It's going to be 100% right. Everything I tell you here today, you can trust. Take to the bank. Definitely don't uh, remind me about this video when 3.18 actually drops. But just know it's all, it's all factually true. It's backed up by peer-reviewed studies, data, science. We got some inside guys at GGG itself. Really just a streamline of 100% reliable information you can trust. Now, let's go into it. Every, it seems like every two years about Path of Exile, uh, Bex posts basically their Halloween meeting. And these meetings consist of basically these whiteboards where they write out a lot of bullet points. And all the bullet points mostly seem like they're memes. And some of them are, but we've basically have the benefit of looking at what's happened the past five years. And we can go down and look at some of these bullet points and say, that actually happened. That was a real thing. For example, one of the most obvious and verifiable ones is Act 7 Boss Fight Groose. Now, this post was five years ago before we even knew we were getting Act 5, let alone 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. This thing seemed like it was a meme. Groost was an NPC. You talked to him for like two seconds in Act 2. You didn't think anything of it. And you thought, yeah, that's a meme. But this one's actually legit. Groost is a boss fight in Act 7. This is something that did happen. And there are examples of this like uh, Buff Ignite. I'm pretty sure Ignite got buffed. Um, <laughs> there's not as many from this list specifically. But I think they trended more in the direction of giving us more teasers in these posts every single time we got one. For example, once we go on to the next set of posts, we think, see things like six more acts. That's a legit thing. We see a group SSF. I think they added basically the modes where you could customize your own events and do group SSF more legitimately. They brought back Royale mode. That was legit. Uh, there's actually quite a few things on this list that happened. They seemed like memes, or a lot of them did, but they were actually legit. And so I want to go to the most recent one, which this one was only six months ago, but this one has a lot of stuff on it of things that are actually legit. They totally happened, even though they might have seemed like memes at the time. For example, reusable flasks are eco-friendly. This seemed like a joke, but it really wasn't because we got the flask rework if i can scroll down to it yeah the flask rework this thing right here this is when they got us reuse when full reuse when hit reuse when this we got all these reuse things and it obviously is related to this bullet point 3.15 the electric nerf load that's completely legit if you guys remember the nerf apocalypse basically that happened in 315 when basically Everybody got nerfed. The support gems went from 50% more damage to 30% more damage across the board. And yada, yada, yada. Mana got nerfed. Trigger got nerfed. Yeah, a bunch of things got nerfed. There's a whole bunch of legit things on here. Uh, nerf Molten Strike, Nerf Glacial Hammer. This is obviously probably in reference to the 6% Glacial Hammer buffs that are going to keep happening. And eventually Glacial Hammer will be viable in like 2030. But we're going to get there eventually. Um... As we go through the list, Gigantic Atlas Passive Tree, this occurred. We have guild hideouts uh, in reference to giving us guild hideouts. At the time, guild, you think fish, that doesn't make any sense, but it actually ended up being legit. We got guild-based hideouts. So there are clearly references to things that are going to happen in future leagues. Personally, what I think they have kind of trended towards doing, my guess is GGG, Chris, the higher-ups, they come up with ideas of basically bullet points of things they want to do to the game to improve the game or add to the game or things they want to do basically setting up the pathway towards Path of Exile 2, future systems. And as they have this huge list, they can basically f pick point, you know, pick things out of that list they're pretty sure they're going to do and they can convert it into not exactly what it's going to be they can make it into some sort of basically play on words like guild hideouts or make it seem like it's a meme type of thing when it's actually a legitimate thing they're going to do and so i believe there are still things on this list we're 100 percent going to get but we don't know what they are yet and that brings me to one of my main predictions of the league which is bring back synthesis 
my prediction is, looking at the expansion trailer here, this little robot guy reminds me of something in the Path of Exile, and that's specifically Synthesis League. This dude. You see this little guy? He's a little floating ball, robotic, energy. These, like, basically artwork and basically lore type of basically robotic energy type beings, synthesis monsters. That all seems very similar to what we're seeing in this trailer here. So, personally, my prediction is part of the bring back synthesis on this list here is in reference that this league mechanic is going to bring back synthesis in some way, shape, or form. That's my prediction. Uh, that's what I like overarching. If I was going to call something out for the next league, that'd be the thing I would call out. Um, I'm sure there's other things on here that might happen that I still don't even know how that they still seem like memes to me, but I'm sure some way in the future we'll be able to look back on these lists and say, yeah, that's something that's happening. As for my nerf slash buff predictions, I went ahead and I wrote some down that I thought could happen. Um, for the obvious ones, I think of Ashes of Stars, Omniscience. These amulets are absolutely crazy. They dominate the amulet, the amulet slot in Path of Exile. They make basically all of their amulets kind of irrelevant for the vast majority of builds. If I was going to guess on a nerf, I would say they take the penetration amount we get from Omniscience and they just cut it in half, if I was going to guess. For Ashes of the Stars, they get rid of the plus one all skill or the reservation. The quality on gems, I think, is the only unique thing the Ashes of the Stars brings. So maybe they just reduce the power level but keep the uniqueness. So reducing reservation or getting rid of the plus one all skills, the way they could do that. Personally, I don't think they're going to nerf these items. I don't think they would want to. I could see more likely they nerf the drop rate first before they nerf the actual item because they just introduced them next league, everybody love or last league, and everybody loves them. I'm not sure they want to go and nerf them one league into their existence. Usually, unique items and things survive a bit more than one league before they take the nerf bat. And of course, things like Mage Blood, Squire, those exist, which are obviously powerful item slots. In a lot of cases, more powerful than Omniscience or more powerful than Ashes. But ultimately, these items, they draw a lot more attention to, towards being nerfed because they're so common and they're so easy to drop. They're like a one in four from the new boss fights, which the new bosses are very easily grinded out and boss rushed to produce many boss fights. So stuff like that's on my radar. Another thing that's on my radar is Aegis Roar, Melly in the Flush. These are, in my opinion, the two strongest defensive items in the game right now. Aegis Roar basically can get any character that can stack any small amount of block, ES, and some armor. Basic immor immortality for the vast majority of content. And then Melly in the Flush is just such an easy way to get hit 90 max Alrez. So some nerfs I could see is maybe Aegis Aurora loses its max res, or maybe they lower the amount of ES you recoup from the shield. With Melody of the Flesh being in existence, the plus five max res from Aegis Aurora is just so powerful in combination of what Aegis Aurora uniquely does with recouping ES already. I could see it losing something like that. Or maybe if they nerf Melody of the Flesh, maybe they won't feel like they have to nerf Aegis Aurora. I don't know. Other things I could see is Nightblade taking a nerf. The multi-scaling with elusive effects seems pretty stupid. Definitely means one-hand weapons, claws, uh, the obvious choice. And things like Brittle. In terms of alternate ailments, everybody says the alternate ailments need a nerf. I don't really think Sap and Scorch do. I think they're fine. Personally, the 15 base crit is just insane. It's so easy to cap your 100% crit. This probably should be more something like 5%. If they're going to nerf the alternate ailments, Brittle is the real problem case. And when you're going ultimate ailments, you're doing it for Brittle. You're not doing it for Sap. You're not doing it for Scorch. You're doing it for Brittle, if I was going to nerf something there. And then cast some damage, taken slash war loop. That would probably be one of my final picks for things I would I could see getting nerfed. I don't necessarily want a lot of these things to be nerfed, like Ashes of the Stars, Aegis Aurora, Melee of the Flesh. These are some of my favorite items to build around, but they're also super giga powerful. And if I, if I would consider them nerfing something, I would think they would nerf the strongest things. And in my mind, these are some of the strongest things. As for nerfing specific skills, like skeletons, like, uh, what's the other one, cremation, explosive arrow, some of the meta skills, to be honest, I, I don't know those skills well enough to understand how much they would need to be nerfed by, or if they even need to be nerfed. I went ahead and watched some videos of cremation min-max builds, skeleton min-max builds, and explosive arrow min-max builds, and ultimately, the gameplay seems kind of stale, like... 
you get boring gameplay or and you can min max something that actually looks fun to play and still do the same amount of damage i don't they didn't seem that good to me but maybe that's just because i don't find the skills looking that fun to play so i wouldn't even think they'd be war uh, uh, warranted of a nerf i feel like if i'm gonna play a skill that looks boring to me it better as hell sure as hell be strong <laughs> to go along with it i think like you deserve some power for playing a skill that doesn't look fun to play and then buff pred predictions i'd say trickster he trickster's been in a real bad spot ever since they basically took away ghost dance and and gave us heart stopper as an exchange worst trade deal in history trickster really needs some love i could see trickster getting a buff and then another buff prediction is hard mode getting delayed. Uh, this is a buff, guys. This would be, definitely be a buff because that means they're putting more dev time into the next league. Um, so <laughs> if I was going to throw out some actual like nerf buff predictions, those would be my predictions. Other than my other main prediction, which is this is going to be somehow way, shape, or form more bringing back synthesis. That is my predictions for the next league. And it's it's heavily based on these charts. I think they've been leaning definitely way more towards giving us teasers into their project plans or things they plan to do to the game because when you're looking at something like the first post the one they did five years ago this one a large portion of this is straight up memes whereas this one we've already gone only six months and we've seen i don't know seven six of these items that are big crazy things getting knocked off one by one so I could still see there being more on this list and it seems like it trends in the direction of they're putting more teasers to future plans they have uh, in these Halloween basically posts they make. So it's up to you guys. Maybe you guys can find some other things you think would be things they would do to develop the game and further improve it. All right, that's more predictions for 3.118. Hopefully we get some new in teaser info along with I'm excited for the live stream. See what all we have coming for us in 3.19. You guys, take care. Thanks for watching Exiles. Peace out.